Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another resin project. So today I am going to be making presents. Resin presents. So I found this mold at Michael's. It was only a couple dollars and I didn't know what I was going to do with it, but I was pretty sure it was going to involve my Christmas tablescape. I thought maybe place cards or in the middle of some napkins, something really cute for the holidays. So I went ahead and purchased it. We made some presents. I did, as you can see, dust this mold with some iridescent, not iridescent, Interface Violet, which is a color shifting pigment. And so when you move the presents around, the bow that we dusted shifts in the light. Now, if I was making these again, I probably wouldn't use, I used parchment for the back, which is kind of an off-white color. I would probably do a copper or a darker pink because I think the interference violet shows up better on dark colors, but they looked really cute on my table with all the whites. So I'm going to show you how to make them. This is a very easy project, dusting the bows with the pigment since it's a powder is definitely like the most tedious part and it's not hard just tedious so to get started you're going to need some pigments you're going to need a tiny brush <laughs> some rubbing alcohol and a q-tip that way when you in and out of the balloon it's like i can't talk today get pigment somewhere other than the bow you can use your q-tip to wipe that off Going to need resin. I used, as always, my amazing clear cast resin. You're going to need pigment, which I already said, and your craft paint. Like I said, I used parchment colored, just craft paint. But I would probably go with, say, this copper if I was doing it again. Let's see how that looks with the color shifting pigments, because I bet it would be epic. You're also going to need your respirator, you're going to need some gloves. We're going to need a heat gun because these are deep pour, like this is not a little mold. So you're definitely going to need to pop bubbles all the way around so that you don't end up with bubbles all in your bows. Can't think of anything worse than bubbles in your bows. I believe that's everything, but if not, I will leave a list down below, a full list of all the supplies you need with links to take you to the products. We are going to go ahead and get started, and then I will show you how they turned out for real on my tablescape. Hope you guys love it. See you in a second.
all right y'all what did i tell you quick easy and these turned out so cute so i put them in these little footed dessert dishes with some silver tinsel ribbon around them and they turned out so cute sorry inside voices I absolutely love how they turn out. I put one at each place on my table and all my guests for Christmas liked them. It's COVID, so as you can see, the guests were like me and my mom and brother because that's my little group of people, but they loved them. They love everything I make. Hopefully you guys like them. <laughs> Either way, I really like how they turned out. I hope you guys like how they turned out. If you make these with different colors, please tag me, leave a comment or a like down below because I want to see. I'm really strongly considering making some copper ones. Obviously this table needed a little bit of white and so these were perfect, but I really wanna see how the copper turns out. So either way, I hope you guys loved them. I will see you guys in the next resin video. Bye.